How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sudden. Welcome to our first EU4 recorded series, YouTube exclusive series, in quite some time on the channel. Um, I put up a poll a few, a couple weeks ago, actually, um, asking people what they wanted to see as far as series on the YouTube channel. I had a lot of options, including Imperator, including um, Hearts of Iron 4 and EU4, and I think I also put Vicky 2 on there? Um, or CK2, CK2. And um, people decided, or people voted mostly for two options, Hearts of Iron 4 and EU4. So we will be doing a Hearts of Iron 4 series sometime in the near future, playing as France and going for either monarchist or fascist France, we'll see. But um, <clears throat> but we are first going to, the majority of people, or, or the largest plurality of people, voted for a specific campaign, or for a specific game, uh, EU4, and I've kind of decided that what I want to do is do a Persia run. I've never played as Persia in this game. I've never even played in Persia before. I don't think I've ever played, I think the closest I've ever played was I played as like Georgia once on my own time. Um... Yeah, I, I've never played in Persia at all, and uh, I think it's about time we do so um, and try to form Persia. So we're going to be going for two achievements with this run. Um, one of them is the This Is Persia achievement. That's actually going to be the later one. I should start with the early one. Shahansha. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that is where you form Persia as Ardabil. Um, and then This Is Persia involves owning Anatolia, Egypt... Persia itself, I believe, um, and, like, Greece. So, basically, we want to, um, we have a lot we're going to do, obviously, and this is going to be a campaign that should last a long time, but essentially we want to, um, we really want to form Persia early on, and then just focus westward, mostly. Um, we'll call this, this is Persia. Not sure what I'll call this campaign, seeing as there's a couple achievements. I'll just, maybe I'll just call it Persia. I've also been thinking about things we could do to mix it up and stuff. Maybe, maybe that's not even the best idea right now, but, um, one thing I, I was thinking about, and I, it's going to be a while until we can do this, um, is the fact that we're right next to some Coptic land. We could probably fairly easily, um, once we get going, become Coptic, and we're going to be conquering Coptic holy sites or whatever. So I kind of feel like that might even be worth it, but I'm curious to know what you guys in the comments think about that idea. I'm, I'm throwing that out there right at the beginning so that you can give me your feedback. It's gonna be at least a few episodes, a couple of recording sessions till that happens, if at all. Uh, Cause first off we need to conquer Coptic land and that's gonna involve going to war with Kara. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm curious to know if you guys at least think that would be perhaps interesting or viable. I don't know if there's any, like, maybe there's events with Persia that require you to be Shia, or maybe there's things that are kind of, you know, certain events you miss out on if you if you flip. That might be the case, so I, I, I do want to know if that, if any of you know about that. Um, but otherwise, you know, it seems like a fun idea, um, and I like going Coptic. Coptic's always fun to go. Um, <clears throat> so, let me know if you think uh, that that would be viable. It would also, it would make it a little bit harder though, obviously, seeing as everyone would basically hate us. Um, but, uh, but it'd be interesting, uh, for sure. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got Shravan and Biapas. We'll um, go ahead and obviously rival them though. I think I actually have tried to play as like Mazandaran, like once I tried to play as them. Um, so maybe it was a lie that I haven't played in this area, but basically, I don't think I got very far with that. So basically, um, basically, yeah. So we can wait a month and then declare war. We should definitely try to do that. Um, all right, let's do that. Let's see. Money is not great, obviously, so that's gonna, that's gonna be a big factor early on. We have one, one cavalry. Let's go ahead and get an even number there. Hmm. Um, yeah, so who do we want to ally? I think we want to ally the Timurids early on, if possible, right? Which is going to be difficult. Hmm. Um, it's going to be difficult to, difficult to ally anyone, but, uh, we are a feudal theocracy, and I've never played as a feudal theocracy, so I don't even know what this does. Let's see. Invite minorities from abroad. 
We get local development costs. That's beautiful. And random development. Sanction Holy War. Gives us a claim on all neighboring provinces currently owned by neutral or enemy heretics or heathens. So, heretics or heathens. So, we already have a core here, so it wouldn't work there. So, that's why it's only Melicates. Um... Why not this one though? Why not Nakchivan? Huh. Why would it not work on that province? They are a heathen, or a heretic rather. No, 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 they're Shia, never mind. I didn't realize that. Okay, yeah, they're Shia. Um. So, yeah. So that's why. Um, hmm. <clears throat> What is this one? Seize clerical holdings. Construction cost down. Cool. So these it costs 50 of each type, but they give you good bonuses. So that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and do what we can here. Okay. Uh, and yeah. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Well, hold on. First, we, sh <clears throat> we should see who is uh, even likely to ally us. Not a lot of people. Yeah, I think Mushasha would be a good one, or an alright one at the very least. I'm going to start allied to Jilan. I don't know if it's Jilan or Gilan. As long as Shah Rukh lives as the ruler of the Timurids, he will greatly reduce the liberties of the remaining vessel. Okay, cool. So this is. So I haven't had a deal with the Timurids in the early game in a long time. Um. So basically, so what are their vassals? They have ones out here in the east. And then Ajam is not one. They're like their big rival early on. And we want to get our stuff back from Ajam. But um, it's obviously going to be difficult. Mm. At least fairly difficult. They've allied Gazakumul. That's not bad. Gazakumul. That's actually maybe good. A good thing. Um, hmm. Yeah, that, that's not. That's not terrible. Hmm. We will pop that before we go in here. So we are a feudal theocracy. I don't know how that works. It is like a a feudal theocracy. Let, let, hold on. Let's take a look. Um, feudal theocracy. Is it just me or is the, the art on this portrait kind of weird? Like his head looks like it's popping off his body. Um, <laughs> prohibit switching government types, okay. Feudal theocracy abilities, which we looked at. We get Actually, we have an extra missionary. We have extra missionary strength. Tolerance for the true faith and number of states plus one. Assume, presumably that goes up as we get become, excuse me, become a kingdom and stuff. Um, that's not bad. That seems actually fine. That's really good for like, I mean, obviously for religious stuff. Um, we also have, a, like, not much piety. Hmm. You get manpower that. I've never even clicked this button. I click this one, like, a lot when I play as Muslim countries, because normally I focus on the piety, or the legalism side of piety. Um, <clears throat> any, anywho. Seven already. Hmm. So, that's a good general. Um, the mountains, eh. I feel like we, we need to try early on to, to get some growth here, otherwise we're going to be having a rougher time later. We're going to be locked in. So let's just go for it. If we have to restart, it's not a big deal. No, we want to do reconquest. Um, we could promise... We could promise them land and then not give it to them. That's probably what we should do. I mean, it'd be fine to keep them around. Offer vassalization is not going to happen for a long time. Um, shouldn't do that. Do we really need them, though? Let's try to do it without that first. Okay, well, we'll see if this works. Uh, definitely do that. Uh, this is not a good idea. Yeah, no, we shouldn't do that. Alright. Anywho, so yeah, I'm not sure if our Coptic, being, if turning Coptic 
would force us out of feudal theocracy. I don't see why it would though. None of this is specific to to a Muslim country. I think if this, I, I'm pretty sure this is a unique like Persian Persian culture, Iranian culture group government type, right? I think that's why we have it. <clears throat> but I don't think that matters religion wise. For if we go Coptic, I still don't know if that's actually a good idea to go Coptic. Probably early on, it's a terrible idea, seeing as we would um like everything would not be <laughs> in the right religion. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> no. Is there any way here? We should see. Can we get access through a job? Probably not. No. Timurans declared war on Najam. Hmm. Okay. Well then. Well then. Let's see. I think we just wait until we can, uh, until we can do something else, you know? Hmm. Could I even, could I get access through Melicates? No. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, hmm. I kind of what I'm trying to do is I, I'm hoping that they'll get access and go to my capital. Because if they do, then I... Okay, well then. Kara has declared one of us, huh? Well, that's not going to be good. <laughs> that's certainly going to make this a lot harder. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I see the problem. Hmm, mm hmm. That is not a viable war. We can't we can't deal with that. Um, okay, I think this is a restart. But I think now we know what to do next time, you know? <laughs> um so that's fine. And, you know, we, with a campaign like this, this is gonna be a difficult one right at the start. I'm not gonna like restart the recording because this is kind of part of the process, right? Of learning what not to do in a situation like this. And the whole Coptic discussion, that can wait till later because it's it's so far away from being relevant at all. Um, we first need to actually be able to survive, so yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's hop in here. So what we need to do this time, a few things differently, but first off we need to, I think we need to get allies before we do any wars. Yeah, that's that's step one is get allies. Akunlu or not Akunlu, Karakunlu is gonna be our our biggest um, our biggest threat early on, and then Ajam and Timurids next, I would say. But like, if we could ally, Ajam's not gonna ally us though either, so that's a problem. Um, as long as we, if we could just ally anyone, right? Go ahead and just uh, do some stuff here. The opposite Shrivan. The other option is get to war even earlier, but I don't. I don't think that's really an option. Mamluks would be a really good one. I think they're too strong to really give us the time of day, though. Let's look at. Let's go over here and be smart. Um, offer alliance. So again, Moshasha Sanske might ally us. Neither of those are really particularly great allies, but uh, great options, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and collect in Aleppo and transfer here. Hmm. Okay, one of our, start our benefits is that we do start up in the mountains here, right? <clears throat> but, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not a huge boon. Now I dulk the air this time. That's all right. Hmm. I think we should go and lower our maintenance if we're not going to war right away. Which I don't think we should. Um, yeah, we, we definitely should focus on getting allies early on. But who? Who? Hmm. Let's try that. Uh huh. As soon as we have an option for... Oh, there we go. That was actually quicker this time. 
Cool. So there's a one ally. Not a huge boon, but uh, not terrible either. Alright, there's one. Who do we do next? Who do we do next? I don't know. You're a vassal. Hmm. <clears throat> Mushasha is a good one. I mean, Akiyun would be good. Heretic religion, religious school relation. Hmm. That sucks. We're starting with a pretty big penalty for a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do here. Hmm, <clears throat> is it Kaifa, maybe? Shoot. I don't know, man. Um, You guys? We, we kind of need... Oh, you're allied to my rival. Hmm. That's not good. I should have looked at that beforehand. That's fine. We just again, we just need to get more allies. You know, we just need more allies. That one might work. Seven escape. Hmm. Might work. All right, speed five. It is. Let's. Uh, we're just waiting here. There's Timurids declaring on Rajam. All right. We should be able to get this one, I think. Um, neutral attitude will go away at some point, and it will probably become friendly. So I think it'll be minus tw you know, plus 20 reasons, effectively, and then also probably plus like 10 more for being friendly. I don't remember if friendly has any reasons bonus. And these guys here, not too far away. Uh-oh. So the fact that they are lighting up on our borders Makes me very, very suspicious. Not that it really matter, we should get our maintenance up just in case. Come on, my dudes. They're definitely gonna declare on me right now. Um hold on. Yeah, this is rough. This is a rough start. You know, I mean, I knew it was, but I didn't think it would be this rough. Um, can't really marry them, right? Yeah. No. Um. Hmm. Hmm. If we get declared on, what's the plan? How do we how do we run away? We can't really, so Yeah, so unfortunately, we're probably just gonna get roasted. But they didn't actually attack us right away. Um I mean let's 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 try it. Let's try to go through here and do this war. I doubt, you know, it's gonna it's almost certainly not gonna work out, but let's try. Mm, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> hmm. We will we'll try to get through this war. Um. Hmm. Um. Oh, the death of the Timrids ruler. Huh. Well, yeah, we'll try to do this war real quick, but I again, I doubt uh, that we're going to be able to do anything of note. But if we get lucky enough with these sieges that our allies are doing, maybe, you know, you never know. You never know. I mean, you, you kind of do know, but you never know. Hmm... Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. This is a rough start. Um, it's a rough start, not gonna lie. I mean, it's obviously a rough start. Um, timer's up for the first episode, but I'm gonna keep going a little longer. Hmm. 
Hmm. Come on, give me some luck. We got luck. Ooh, here's what we can do. <laughs> that would be game over. But, um, they won't even take it right now. <laughs> you bastards. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to think, like, oh, maybe they'll break the siege. No. Oh, well, there goes our capital. Um, there goes our allies' capital. Yeah, they're gonna peace out. I mean, we're pretty much screwed. But I was trying to think, like, maybe... I don't know. It's possible we could give up our allies' land or something. But they have to be occupied first. For that to be an option. So, yeah, not so sure about that one. Uh, I don't know what they took from Chilan. We're gonna, we're gonna put up a fight. We're gonna try to be, uh, try to be dicks here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's interesting though. I don't know what our opening moves sh should even be, because it's basically like, it seems like pretty much a guarantee that they're going to, uh, to attack us right at the start here. They won't accept me as a vassal either. I was kind of like, you know, maybe we could, uh, to work something out that way. Not gonna happen. Yeah, I think we're basically just screwed. I, I mean, I don't see any way out of this, so... Alright, so we're gonna wrap up here, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the episode here, but this gives you a taster, a, a, a sampler of what uh, we're probably gonna be dealing with over the next little while. So, thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Um, if you have enjoyed this episode, then feel free to come back to the next one. And, uh, you know, again, at the beginning of a series, your support means a lot to me. It helps it get, get get us going strong. And uh, and I do really want to know your feedback. Once we get going, obviously in the initial stages, we're not going to be worried about long-term strategy. But in the initial stages, should we, or, or in the, the long-term stages rather, after the initial stages, should we try to go Coptic or should we stay Shia? Anyways, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.